DPP lawmakers on Tuesday held a press conference calling on the central government to give part of this year's tax surplus back to the general public. They say part of the excess 450 billion NT collected can be given out as cash handouts or put toward a voucher program ahead of the Lunar New Year. The Ministry of Finance says it will prioritize the repayment of the debt in putting the surplus to use. DPP lawmakers on Tuesday called on the government to give out 450 billion NT collected in tax surplus this year. They say the money could be given out as vouchers worth 10,000 NT or in programs similar to the quintuple stimulus vouchers. The Russian invasion of Ukraine and inflation have caused the price of everything to rise, from tea eggs to lunch boxes to drinks. The central government keeps saying that Taiwan's economy has grown a lot, so let's share it with everyone. We always say that the semiconductor industry is a sacred mountain that protects our nation, so we hope that the economic fruits of the industry can also be used to take care of the common people. Most of the tax surplus comes from the tech sector. Lawmakers say that handing out 10,000 NT vouchers would use up just half of that surplus. 234.5 billion NT is about half of the tax surplus. It's a huge amount. If the executive UN can reach a consensus on this and they decide to give out cash or vouchers before the Lunar New Year, they would need to create a special act and submit it to the Legislative UN. <laughs> Workers need to go to work to get money. If they have to isolate for a week due to COVID, then they won't have any way of making a living during that week. I would like to suggest that the Executive UN consider offering an additional 10,000 NT to people who got COVID. Meanwhile, the KMT says it should be bigger handouts for low-income households. There are 2.1 million people in Taiwan with a monthly salary below 30,000 NT. I think they should get cash handouts of 30,000 NT each. There's also 250,000 low-income and middle-low-income households. They should each get 100,000 NT. Acting Finance Minister Ran Tinghua says the tax surplus will first be used primarily to pay back debt. He adds that any programs to give back to the public will likely be in the form of vouchers, as per previous stimulus programs. All options will have to be discussed first at interministerial meetings.